Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a glow effect on Autodesk Sketchbook. And also here I'm using desktop version of it because the tools that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are not available on the iPad version. So I would suggest you guys to use the desktop version to be able to create this effect. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so to start off with, I'm taking this um, ellipse tool and also white color and a brush and I am creating this half moon structure so this is the first step whatever you want to um, create or add glow to you want to create that shape first with just white color like this and I'll tell you guys why I do this and why I choose white color first so i am doing this in a separate layer obviously so just create this first layer and create whatever um, element it can be a star it can be a glow ball it can be anything just make sure you're using white color so once you're done with that you just want to duplicate that initial layer and hide that layer and and just lock the layer that is just underneath it now you want to select a color that you want for the glow and here i'm using this orangish yellow kind of color and also just make sure you have locked the layer so that when you are painting the color over the object or the element it doesn't go out um, to the canvas so that's what i'm doing right here now once you're happy with that you just have to pick up this tool which is blur tool and also make sure to increase the strength up to the max as you guys can see right here i am actually minimizing it but i actually later on increase it up to the max because that's how this tool works works the best and so what i'm doing right here is i'm actually going over that element and blurring out the edges also make sure to release the lock so that we can actually blur it out and as you guys can see the as the strength is low it is actually not doing a great job of blurring it out but you can still play around with it but i i'd suggest using this tool with maximum strength so as you guys can see i am increasing the strength up to the max and blurring out the element now the key here is to make sure there are no harsh edges while you are blurring out the element so wherever you see any harsh edges just go over those edges with this tool and it will blur those out making it look effortless and it will give it a glow kind of effect so once you're done with that uh, what you want to do is you want to change the layer mode to glow now here i was actually playing around with the different layer modes as you guys can see it looks so good when i change the layer mode to glow that is what i'm going to suggest you guys to do but you can still go ahead and play around with different layer modes but glow looks the best so i went ahead and chose glow for the layer mode now once you're done with that you want to duplicate the layer where we created the glow for the element and this time you want to increase the size of the glow like this and now just adjust it according to the element or the object and also now once you're happy with the placement of the glow and the size of it just go ahead and decrease the opacity of the layer now here i am darkening up the layer just a little bit just to see how the glow looks and at this point you guys are done you don't really have to do anything else but the next step is optional that i'm doing right here so i'm basically duplicating the glow layer once again and i am adjusting it according to the element that i have right here on the screen as you guys can see you can do the same if you want to it actually makes it look much more um I don't know it looks good so i always go ahead and use three layers for the glow effect you guys are basically done you don't really have to do anything else now i just want to show you guys that here on sketchbook there is a brush set called glow and you guys can also use that brush but i'm going to show you the reason why i do not use it and i would not suggest using it as you guys can see it looks so so harsh now you can go ahead and blur those edges as well but i prefer using the method that i just showed you guys 
in this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's mini tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday if you do create something out of my tutorials and tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well other than that i will see you guys the next time